So guys, in today's video, we are solving our 462 question by the name of minimum moves to equal array elements 2. And this is a medium one question which we are solving in today's video. And the question is uh, on about array, math and sorting. Okay, in today's video, we are covering three topics, array, math and sorting. This question is on about array, math and sorting. Okay, so please like this video share with friends and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to all the notification bell also so you know i'm some of these type of videos on the channel so anyways let me meet you in the next class sorry let's move to the computer screen and let's do a code with laughing so guys let's start to solve our 462 question by the name of minimum moves to equal array elements too and there's a medium one question which we are solving in today's video so first of all let's i have told you that the topic this question topic is on about array mat and sorting okay so first of all i like uh, drag and drop this question with examples and constraints into uh, my word file so i will be i will told you i will be understand the question carefully yes and you will be also be understand the carefully yes then we will be start to solving this question so now it is given me one integer array nums of size n our task is we want to return the minimum number of moves to require to make all array elements equal. What? We want to return the minimum number of moves to require to make all array elements equal. In one move, you can increment or decrement an element of the array by one. Okay. Uh, so let's start a timer. Test cases uh, now. Test cases are designed so that the answer will be fit in 32-bit integer. Please highlight a 32-bit integer. So let's focus on our example one in which he created an uh, integer array by the name of nums in which he wrote in down 1, 2, 3. The output will become in 2 because only 2 moves are needed. Remember, each move increments or decrements one element like 1, 2, 3 equals to greater than 2, 2, 3 then equals to greater than 2, 2, 2. So that's why the output is coming to because there are only two moves are needed to do this. Okay, to do this. So that's why the output is coming to. So here, here I create like nums uh, integer array in which I write 1, 10, 2, 9. So this and the output will be coming 16. This is the same process in the above of the code. This is the same process. And these are the constraints which we have used to solve this question. Okay. So in our case for our output will become 2 and our case uh, 2 our output will become 16. And I have told you the, why the output is becoming true because only 2 moves are needed. Uh, remember each move increments or decrements one element like 1, 2, 3 equals to greater than 2, 2, 3 then equals to greater than 2, 2, 2, 2. So that's why. Okay. So there is output is becoming 16. Here you can see it. There is output is becoming 16. Why? Because like I have told you that now. Here, here you write like, uh, like thing 1, 10, 2, 9. Then equals to greater than, greater than like 1, 2, then 2, then 9 and like this. Then equals to greater than like 1, now. 2 comma then 2 comma then 2 comma and then 9 and then equals to greater than like you think so 2 comma 2 comma 2 comma then 2 and like this like in 4 then 8 then 9 10 11 12 then 13 14 15 16 so that's why the output has been coming 16 like if I told you in the first one, there are four, okay, and there are also be four, and there are also be four, and there is also be four. So there are total four fours, okay. So four multiplied by four is equals to sixteen. Four one the four four two right? four three the twelve and four four the sixteen, okay. So I hope you understand that. So that's why I put coming sixteen. In the four formats, we solve 2, 2, 2, here, here, coming. So, that's where the output is coming 16. So, I hope you understand it. So, now, 
without taking you any time uh, let's try to solve this question and total 331000 people submit this and only 2001000 people accept it okay and this is the one uh, this is the one submission and acceptance rate is 60.8% okay so now let's try to solve it and you must know in today's video we are solving a question in the python not in the python 3 okay so now let's start so in our case one our output will become two uh sorry uh two and our case two our output will become 16 and why in our case two our output will become 16 i have told you that already okay so now let's start to solve it so like you all know all the people know whenever i write a solution so i start to writing from the start so now i define a class of a solution like you all the people know in all the late code camp solutions we must define a class of a solution because it is a very much thing. Then dev, then min, moves, and then two. Then we wrote it down self, comma, num, then semicolon, then nums, then we sort it here from num, then here I sort here something. And then start comma end comma count then equals to zero then we want to found the land of our nums and then one comma zero enter and then when we do this so now uh, when I define start and count like this so I define a while loop okay less than end and then semicolon then count plus equals to nums then end then minus nums and then start then start plus equals to one and then and minus equals to one enter back so here i written count perfect so when I do this, I write this type of all the code. So now let's try to uh, let's run this code and let's see the running code. It is correct or not. Okay. So now when I run this code, so I hope the error will be not come any. So there is coming error in the line seven. Okay, in the line seven there are error. Okay, I did not write one. So now when I write one, so now let's try run it. So now so line 7 error has been gone but in the line 9 the one more error has been came so okay i do not write count a uh, full count i do not write i do not write t in the count okay i, I write only c o u n so now let's see the running code so when i run, run the code so now the running code has been accepted our case one our output has been coming expected is 2 and my also output is 2 in the case 2 the expected output is 16 my also output has been coming 16 so we solve this all the question very easily yes and let's see the submission of this code so when i submit this code and submission of this code is also be correct here you can say we solve it in the 7 milliseconds and we beat 41.12 percent people we beat it okay and now here you can say in today's video solve a 462 question by the name of minimum moves to equal array elements too so i hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy so like share subscribe and uh, do not forget to all the notification bell also so you know i was over these type of videos and on this channel so go on my channel and please support me but anyways let me meet you in the next class and next very amazing class so for today good bye